to the next installment in the series, one of the most talked about heavyweight fights of the last 30 years, Larry Holmes versus Jerry Cooney. Great white hope always sells. And the fact that there's yet another black heavyweight champion of the world is not nearly so interesting as the fact that there is a white guy out there who actually punches like a wrecking ball. I think that a lot of people related to me. It was like the Rocky story being lived. Holmes was not a larger than life figure. He was just a really good prize fighter who was the heavyweight champion of the world. The people that handled this fight turned it into racial dynamite. Race sells. Here you have an Irish American against an African American. It was a very effective sales hook. Just as blacks identify with heroes like Jackie Robinson and Muhammad Ali, white people occasionally invest in a Vince Lombardi or a Jerry Cooney. Jerry Cooney's a white hope. I said, they hope I don't kill his ass. When the bell rings, all the bullshit goes out the window. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world, the most anticipated fight in year. Holmes was fighting such a disciplined, tight fight. Holmes all business with the jab right now. And Cooney took a good right hand from Holmes. He staggers and is down. Cooney is down from a right hand by Larry Holmes. And he gives up, but fights harder. <laughs> that one's just showing, listen, you can't hurt me, man. Jerry Cooney fought his ass off that night. Whatever he had, he left in the ring that night. Larry Holmes believed beating Cooney was going to be his moment, but it wasn't. For much of America, the wrong guy won.